Good morning, stinky friends. Welcome to another vlog. I just woke up and washed my face. I made some tea and gave the dogs breakfast. And now I'm gonna make some breakfast, some exciting breakfast. Some cinnamon rolls, good for the heart. And then my plan for today is to clean the house. There's a couple of things that I wanted to do around the house that I just haven't made time for, so I'm gonna do that today. So yeah, today's just gonna be a cleaning day, I think. Gonna get the house nice and clean so that tomorrow I can relax with my new book. Okay, let's make some cinnamon rolls. Breakfast is served. So before we start cleaning, I'm actually going to make this. Amazon just delivered it. It is gonna be one of those cat beds that goes in the window so that Mick can go and sit in the sunshine without being disturbed by the dogs. So yeah, let's make that first. I forgot to eat lunch, so I am in fact eating a delicious combination of two baby bells, some kimchi, 12 olives, and a fresca. Girl dinner! I also just wanted to quickly show you guys how happy my plants are. So my fiddle leaf has got two new leaves. Look at them, they're so exciting. Then I'm growing some flowers in here. I've got one at the moment, <laughs> so that's going really well. And then my orchid that I bought from Walmart last year is blooming again. Look at that, it's gonna be so pretty. For dinner, we got red lobster. I got I, just a bunch of sides, the biscuits, the linguine, and a potato. And then I'm watching some Schitt's Creek. Good morning, stinkies. It's a new day. I woke up feeling terrible this morning, so I took my own advice and I got cute. I'm wearing my fruit earrings, fruit tart. I'm wearing my fruit tart earrings. <laughs> and I'm also wearing a skirt. 
feel much better about life now that I have bangs and I can't see my forehead. In other good news, it's time for me to start my book, finally. The book that I'm reading is Master of Crows by Grace Draven. Uh, I read a bunch of her books recently because one of the YouTubers that I watch, Peru's Project, read two or three, I think, and said that they were really good romanticy books, which is what I love. So I read them and I agree, they are very, very good. Um, and then this one is a different series of hers that I'm gonna start reading. A little bit about this book is is it is dual POV enemies to lovers. Enemies to lovers is my favorite trope ever in a book, so I'm very excited about that. This one has a really grumpy main love interest, and he has the god of corruption in his head talking to him all the time, telling him to do things, telling him what he should and shouldn't do, and he's constantly trying to fight against that, so he's desperate and angry and very grumpy, as you can imagine, if someone was in your head telling you what to do all the time. And then our female love interest is a spy, and she is working for the conclave of mages, I think. She's convinced them to let her go and spy on him in order to earn her freedom. I did start it last night, I'm like 15% through. Really all that's happened so far is she has been escorted to his manor, and she's been living there learning the way of things. There are two other servants that live at the manor. One is a mage finding dog who can like sniff out people who have magic and the other is a mute giant servant and he's really sweet so far. I'll give you an update when I'm a little bit further into the book. guys good morning it is in fact the next day i just woke up did my skincare and made myself a smoothie i'm back in my smoothie era because i can't be trusted to get the nutrients that i need in the morning through any other method i'm back to drinking smoothies every day <laughs> but i did in fact not film any reading updates yesterday because i was too busy reading this book i finished it last night oh my god is it the best book i've ever read no was it one of the most addictive books i've ever read Yes, this book was filthy, dirty. If you like spice, pick this one up. Romance elements. So I preferred the first half of the book to the second half. I felt like it really dropped off around like the 50% like the mark. I feel like it kind of declined in quality. I don't feel like it was truly enemies to lovers. It was more dislike and distrust to lovers. <laughs> I don't think that's a trope though. So Matisse, our main female character, she has been enslaved since she was seven. Her mother sold her when she was young so that she could feed the rest of her children. And Matisse does not tell Silhara, the master of crows, that she is a slave. She, he believes that she is a warden of Cumbria, the mage, and that is why she is being brought to his manor to help him uh, translate scrolls. I really, really like the main male love interest. I think that he was really grumpy, he was an asshole, he was sarcastic, his humour was dry and dark, and I love that. I don't think that would be everyone's cup of tea, I think people probably prefer the main male character to be a bit more obsessed with the female love interest, but that's- I don't really like that. When a guy's obsessed and all he thinks about is the, the girl, I'm like, ugh. You haven't got anything else going on. So around the 50% mark of the book, we meet her ex-lover, Balian, I think his name is. But he is just so badly written. The way he's written into it is just so sloppy. And it's so obvious that him being written in and the way that he was written in was just to further the plot for Sohara and Matisse which is fine. If you want to write in a character just to further a plot, that's fine. But he was just so badly written compared to the rest of the characters that it kind of like brought me out of the book a bit. Overall, I think the romance was okay. I really liked the tension before characters get together and these guys got together relatively fast. But I will say that the secrets that they were keeping from each other were well written and did help me continue to be interested in the plot and everything like that. The plot was like well done and I was interested in the plot as well as the romance, which doesn't always happen. <laughs> that was nice. This is not my favorite book 
by this author. I looked it up and this book that I just read, Master of Crows, was written before her Empire Fallen series, which is the other series that I read by Grace Draper that I really enjoyed. So I think she was still probably like figuring out her writing style. Overall, I think I'd give it like a 3.5, 4 stars. It was a fun little addictive read. I read it in a day. And then if you guys want to hang out with me today, I'm going to go to the gym and then take Squid for a walk and then bake some cookies. Stick around if you feel like it. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Baking with Millie, where I bake the exact same thing that I baked last time and the time before that. And really every single time that I've baked, it's been this recipe, other than the one or two times I've made banana bread in the last few years. Let's get into it. Okay guys, it's my bedtime, but thank you for hanging out with me this week and I will see you again soon with another video. Bye.